Hello you lot, how's it going? I've got another box today. You'll have to you have to bear with me the sound of the uh the, the sound of the washing machine because uh, it's right next to the camera. I don't have much much of a choice, so sorry. Um I'll just talk over it. Um yeah, have you seen by the title I'm sure we've gonna unbox the uh the X Spirit 3. Um Helmet City have had a really good deal um on with these and um, I've been after a new helmet because the, the AGV that I bought, if you saw the unboxing for that, I'm going to have a watch. Um, I might start reviewing these things actually because uh, you guys might want to know this, but um, it's a decent helmet, but I've had to modify it quite a bit in order for it to fit me. But um, I don't know, I'm not really too keen on it to be honest. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's very bulky. I mean, yeah, it's light, but I don't know, there's something about it. Anyway. Uh, so Helmet City, they've, again, they've got a really good deal on these. Usually they're about six, seven hundred pound, and I got this for about four, four seventy, I think it was. Um, thankfully, credit card. But, <laughs> yeah, but basically, I, I tried out, um, I tried out one of these in a medium last year, and it was a bit of a nightmare, really. So I bought it from JNS up the other for like eight hundred quid. Stupid idea. Then I got it home and it fit me in the shop, but I got it home and it was fucking excruciating. So I had to go and swap it back and they didn't give me my money back, they gave me install credit. So I had to buy, I bought an NXR, a showy NXR in the, in the medium again. Again, fit me at the sh in the shop, felt fine, took it home and it was like a fucking vice. I've got two little nodules here on my head, which is just horrific. Um, but yeah, I basically went in and I thought, Let's because I saw them online for a for a deal, so I went to JNS and tried them on, um, and basically uh, I found out that I'm a large in a showy and a medium in an RI, so that makes sense. For some reason, I was obsessed with getting the, the tightest fit possible, um, thinking I had a you know smallish head when I'm not. I've got quite a big head, so so yeah, so we're going for the TC8, um, which is the Rhino, which is the one I bought last year actually. Um, since I saw her bought it then it's one of them so I tried it on in the shop and the large was it fit me head fine felt fine the cheap pads were a little bit loose so what I've asked them to do is put in the thickest cheap pads that they've got so they come with a 35 mil and I've asked them to put 43 in so hopefully once they've broken in they'll still be nice and tight um, you've got Pinlock Evo I, I would have gone for an RI but um, they didn't have particularly very good deals on RIs so I'm not sure if you can see this but Oh. Once you've unboxed one helmet, you've unboxed them all, unfortunately, but, but hey, so there we go. I also noticed that the Showy, this X-Spirit, um, was a hell of a lot lighter than any RI. I was going to go for the Quantic, but again, £500 for a basic colours. Uh, so there you go, and you get the um, pack of bits, pack of goodies, basically you've got your breath guard, and you've got your chin curtain, and like a little pointy thing, and you've got your silicon for your... Um, for your visor. Again, one thing we'll show you that I will give them though, that AGV and hasn't had, is look at the, the polystyrene and look at how it's molded to the helmet, that's pretty cool. Instead of just having like a, a block, put that there just in case it doesn't fit. Don't want to break anything. And here's the lid. Ooh, Ooh exciting, isn't it, eh? It's very exciting. So, uh, so yeah, my quest for actually finding a helmet that fits me properly, hopefully, is ended now. I've got a very weird shaped head, so... So yeah, it's cold, you know. So here we go. Look at that. That's fucking neat, huh? Holy shit. Oh, wow, the, um, I've forgotten about this book, because I had it last year, I, I forgot, but... The, um... The Rhino has some really nice sparkle into it. I'm not sure if you can, you're going to be able to see, but... How cool is that? Really nice. Oh, there goes the washing machine going ape shit. There you go, Spirit 3 in large. And hopefully they've whacked in the uh, thicker cheek pads for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear this in the house for a bit. Before I go riding the bloody thing. We'll just do a little quick fit now, actually. Just gonna wait for that to shut up actually. Right, 
Let's get my hair out of the way. Really nice profile on it. I'm not sure if they put the bigger cheek pads in, but yes they have. You can tell. Yeah, they put the bigger cheek pads in, fuck me. Oh. Right, so, there it is as a profile. Brum brum, motherfucker. Get back, motherfucker, yo, don't be that happy. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually already feeling two pinch points, and this happened again. This happened before. I wonder if the one at the shop has basically been worn in so that they didn't have this, but basically there's two pinch points on my upper of my temples. Kind of hoping that kind of hoping that goes away so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here for half an hour with my helmet on and I'm just going to see um, what happens because these pains can evolve in half an hour's time this could be crippling I don't know uh, in which case I'll be sending it back the ratchet's nice on it though that's nice and with these thicker cheek pads it's very much uh, yeah it's really nice and tight on the cheeks which I like and that's going to help with the wind noise as well. My, my chin isn't touching, which is a big thing for me as well, because usually my chin touches the, uh, the the chin bar here. Lots of ventilation on this though, because it's a race helmet, of course. Uh, so yeah. Right. How's it work? So I've added in the nose, the breath guard here, and I've added in this chair. Cool ass looking uh, chin skirt to help deflect the wind. I'm gonna try and see if I can get the um, this in as well as this guy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to, but we'll give it a go. So I've, I've sat around in it for a while, um, and the, the, the pain in the top doesn't seem to have evolved into anything horrific. Um, if I put the helmet in the, in the right place, I can kind of feel it, but I don't think it's going to be as big as a big as a problem as I'd imagined, hopefully, and it's not killing my head within half an hour, you know, within yeah, 10, 20 minutes kind of thing, and I've had it on for a little while now, so hopefully, hopefully it's okay. What's fantastic about this helmet is that inside the interior. You can kind of there's like little sections of of the headpiece, like the the of the head skirt. There's like different parts of it that you can kind of take out and move around. So what I've done is where the where the ears are. The ears fall in really well, by the way. Um, and the chin skirt is doing a good job of sort of blocking noise out already. And so what I've done is I've basically moved some of the velcro, uh, some some of the padding upwards to kind of kind of help with that pressure point and I can't really feel it now I don't know if it's a it's one of them but I think I finally found a helmet that fits me is what I'm trying to say um I think the breaking period for sort of two weeks or so with the pads and the the liner and all that that's going to really kind of tell and unfortunately with a helmet these days you can't you can't do much more than that you know what I mean so I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it for you know, and and just so I'm I'm going to throughout the day I'm going to continue to wear it, um, as I think everybody should do when they first get a lid. Try it for the first day indoors. Don't take anything off because as soon as you do, sending it back is going to be a bit of a problem. Um, so yeah, I mean the fit the fit wise is perfect. Like the actual f the cheek pads and stuff are, are amazing. Uh, my head kind of, it feels like it just kind of fits in there really nicely. It's on the level of an RI fit for me, except from those two little pressure points at the top of my, um, right at the top of my temples. So what I'm, like I said, we'll see. I'll come back in a week or so. But here's a little spin for you. It looks amazing. Feels amazing. All, um, all of the interiors feel great. The, uh, the lining and the padding feels amazing smells good <laughs> as well which is weird nose guard 
I'm going to see the see, see if the breath guard does much for the um, for that because, like I said, before I go putting pin locks in, I'm just going to see if it doesn't cave my head in. And this thing's cool. <laughs> so uh, and lots of ventilation again. It is a race lid. Um, so yeah, I mean, lots of ventilation here up the top. You've got it up here as well. But I can, I can tell you now, just closing the, the visor, it helps with the noise um, amazingly. The only one thing, thing that I want to try out as well is that with helmets, usually, if you're motor vlogging, you're talking quite a lot, like I'm doing now. And uh, moving your mouth when you're trying to talk, and that activates the muscles up in the temples. So this right now, I'm actually starting to, well, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of tension up in my tension, uh, up in my temples, but nothing, nothing very uncomfortable. Hopefully it will break in, like I said. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I'll see you again very, very soon, I am sure. Ah, my beard. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> ha, ha. Oh, until the next time, sort them out.